All right. Um, so today I'm going to try to uh, show you guys. I just pull us over here, and actually I'm going to switch my view up. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys how to um, put an image plane with your movie sequence inside of your Maya scene. So let me just fix my camera up. I'm just trying to set it to, uh, okay, show none. One sec, I should probably cut all this crap out. All right, perfect. Uh, render viewpoint 2.0. Okay, so now I got it all on one screen. So I'm going to just hide what I have here right now. Uh, Put it in ground and sky. Okay, I'll just hide my ground and sky. Uh, no, I'm going to unlock this. So I'm going to hide that for now. Basically, I'm just going to recreate uh, essentially that, just that image plane there. So first thing you have to do is just go create polygon primitives, and you're going to want to create a plane. Um, so right now I have interactive creation on, or do I? Set create polygon primitives. I guess I do. So I'm just going to draw my um, draw my thing here. Now I'm going to want to rotate it up so we have it at like 90 degrees. Not 89, 90. Perfect. And just resize it to something close to what you can use. So I'm going to put it further in the background here. Not actually in the back background though. I want to so just kind of think of it as like a picture-in-picture, picture, sort of like you would on like an old television set. That one, that was still a feature. So I'm just going to rotate towards the camera a little more. Uh, if you don't move your camera around when you start up your shot, it should be facing it right away. So one thing I like to do is just in case you do have any sort of camera moves, I'm going to actually name this first. So just so I can find it in my outliner easier. So let's go Geo um, Movie Sequence. Okay, so I have my camera, which I'm... Show. Well, let's just select it. Okay, so it's way over there. So I'm just going to parent this so that if I have happen to move my camera around, uh, you can see that the sequence is going to stick with it. So that's nice. Now we're going to actually need to assign a material to this. That's the real trick to this. So if I click on it, right click. Uh, there's a couple ways of doing this. I'm just going to go. Simplest way, right click assign new material. Um, now you're going to want to use a uh, surface shader on this. So apply a surface shader. Um, you now you can name your surface shader, so just name this um, Matt Movie Sequence. Okay. Um, and then right here in this out color, if you go into, you might, when you, so when you come into this, you might be in the channel box editor. You want to go into the attribute editor, out color. You're going to want to change this here to a file. And I've gone through my movie reference already, and I've exported it all as uh, as PNGs or JPEGs. I can't exactly remember. So it's in my uh, RINF documents, shots, students. All right, do I have it in reference? Oh no, this is shot two. Sorry, I'm half awake right now. Okay, working, reference, uh, acting frames, I guess what I saved as. So as you can see here, I have my whole sequence of PNGs. Flip through this here. There you go. That's me dragging my legs through the grass. So I'm just going to open this first frame here. And as you can see, it shows up there. Okay, it's totally uh, screwed up, but let's go use image sequence. Oh, shoot, I don't want to be moving my camera around. So I'm actually going to go on here, and I don't know why it's uh, why it's cropping like this. I didn't have this problem when I did it the first time. Well, I'm going to screw around until I can figure it out. So. Oh man. I'm 
You know what? Maybe I will. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to try this again. Create polygon primitives, plane. Actually, let's do this. Uh, I'm just going to do it holding down shift. Normally, I wouldn't have interactive creation on. I haven't really been doing a lot of modeling, so I haven't ch turned this off yet. But, okay. Now, since I've already created the material, I'm just going to right click on it and go to assign existing material. And since I named it, I haven't named everything, but, uh, oh man, this is a mess. Matt Movie Seek. Okay, cool. So there we go. Now, at least my material isn't, uh, like, it's all stretched out, but I can sort of, you know, make it more of a, get the aspect ratio better. And if you actually don't do it, like, if you were to do it without using interactive creation and just pop it in, you could put, you could actually, like, find a size that fits, like, 16 by 9 and um, have it, like, be the proper aspect ratio and everything. But, I mean, if I can get it close enough, I'm happy with that. So now, again, I'm going to parent this to my camera. Where the hell is it? There it is. I think I can see it there. All right, cool. So, and now you can see even as it goes through the cut there, it stays in the, like, even though my camera is physically moving here, it actually follows through. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's all there is to it. Um, and I will cut here.